In this mini tutorial, we're going to look at the functions and features of the iOS Clock app. Since your iPhone or iPad always displays the current time, you might not need to open the Clock app very often. But there are quite a few more functions within the Clock app than just displaying the current time. First, notice that the Clock app icon does display the current time with a second hand. Use 3D Touch and we can quickly start the timer, stopwatch, or create an alarm. Open the app and we have five sections at the bottom. World Clock, Alarm, Bedtime, Stopwatch, and Timer. The World Clock lets you see the current time in other places around the globe. Just tap the Add button and we can either find a city in the list here or do a search. I'll enter Santiago, Chile. They're four hours ahead of me there. Swipe left over a city to remove it from the world clock list. Using Siri, you can always ask what time it is anywhere in the world. What time is it in London? Tap on the result and we're jumped into the clock app, but unfortunately the time for London isn't saved here. I'd still need to do that manually to have it permanently available here in the world clock. In the alarm section, we can add multiple alarms that can be set to repeat at different intervals if needed. So let's add an alarm and set it for 7 a.m. Tap repeat and I can set this alarm to go off every day during the week by tapping every Monday through Friday. To name the alarm something other than alarm, tap Label. I'll call this one Weekday Mornings. Next we can set what sound and vibration plays when this alarm goes off. Here in the Vibration menu I can select different types of vibrations, or select no vibration at all. If I prefer a song to play rather than an alarm sound, I can choose any song that's saved in the Music app on my iPhone or we can choose from a variety of alarm sounds down here. Leave snooze on to have the option of pressing a snooze button when the alarm goes off. Save the alarm and it's going to go off at 7 a.m. tomorrow as long as it's activated here in the clock app. Turn it off and the alarm won't go off again until I reactivate it here. Swipe left to delete the alarm. Siri can be great for setting alarms or turning them off. If I want an alarm to sound for something I need to do at 1 p.m. today, I can quickly set that up with Siri. Set an alarm at 1 p.m. We can even set up a full weekday alarm with Siri just like I did manually. Set an alarm for every weekday at 9 a.m. Tap on it to view it in the clock app. Tap edit to change the alarm settings. If I give this alarm a label, I can then use Siri to turn it on or off. Turn off my breakfast alarm. Next we'll look at the bedtime feature. The bedtime alarm is a new feature available in the clock app. It can help remind you when to go to bed each night, and it helps track how much sleep you're getting by your device usage. So I'll tap get started, and the first thing I'm asked to enter is what time I want to wake up. I'll say 7.30 a.m. Tap the next button to enter what days you want to use this alarm. I try to sleep in a little on the weekends, so I'll turn it off for Saturday and Sunday. 
Now I'm asked how many hours of sleep I need each night. It recommends 7 to 8. I'll stick with 8. That sets when I should be going to bed. So my device will then remind me to go to bed right at bedtime or a certain amount of time before that. Next, we just need to select a sound to wake up to. These sounds start off really soft and get louder over the first minute or so, so you aren't jarred awake. Finally, I just need to save these settings, and my sleep patterns will be tracked by this device and any other sleep trackers added to the Health app on my iPhone. Sleep now has its own section here in the Health app. This is where data stored from the bedtime alarm will be entered. With the stopwatch, you can use your iOS device to measure how long something takes. We have a digital or analog type view for this. Tap Start to begin. If what you're measuring has laps, those can be tracked by tapping the lap button. Tap Stop and I can then view the total time and each lap time. The slowest lap is listed in red and the fastest in green. Unfortunately, we can't save stopwatch times. Tap Reset to start over. In the Timer section, we can set a timer that's going to count down from one minute to a full 24 hours. Select the sound that's made when the timer is up here. Tap Start and the time begins its countdown. Timers can be paused and resumed. Tap Cancel and the timer stops. We can use Siri to set timers. Set a timer for 3 minutes. I don't even need to look at the clock app to use the timer with Siri. The countdown occurs right on the Siri screen. Jump into the Clock app and we can see the timer is running. So don't forget about the Clock app when you need to set an alarm, use a stopwatch, or create a timer. Using Siri with the Clock app can make things even easier. Cancel Timer 